Namaste to all. Uh, the question that often comes to me in my YouTube channel is how can we follow Vedas? How can we follow Sanatan Dharma in the modern, you know, lifestyle? Today everybody is so busy. We have to work for at least 12 hours every day, morning to evening, travel one hour, two hour to work. And then so much of pressure, so much of demands from the managers and bosses. We have to deliver our KPI on a yearly basis. Business people say that we have to open the shop, we have to go from place to place to collect the articles, do all these kind of things. And by the time we come home, it is late the evening, late night, then we eat and sleep and then tomorrow morning again the same thing happens. There is no time for anything. How can we follow Vedas and Vedic Sanatan Dharma in modern uh, lifestyle? And also same thing with the students. Students say the competition is so high, we have to study every day. There are so many uh, homework given by the school. It's uh, practically not possible to follow Vedas in life. This is the, you know, this kind of uh, thinking is there in many people's mind. How can we follow Vedas? I can only tell you, you know, from my basic experience, I also work in a multinational company. I also have a very competitive environment. I also have uh, to work like... Uh, 7 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours every day. And similarly, my Acharya's disciple, most of them are very highly qualified. Some of them are there in government uh, you know, positions, very top positions. Uh, and some of them are there in Rajaniti also, like MLA, etc. So, but still, I see if they can do, then why can't we? Why can't I? Why can't you? If I can do, then why can't you? Yes, it is possible to adopt Vedas even in the modern lifestyle. The only thing is your attitude. See, people have time to watch TVs. People have time to watch YouTube. People have time to do so many things in the modern life. Then why can't they follow and adopt Vedas in life? That's very, you know, this is a matter of attitude. And how do we adopt Vedas in the modern, uh, you know, lifestyle? Very simple. Adopting Vedas require an Acharya. Number one point is Acharya. Without Acharya, I can tell you very openly also, without Acharya, even if you are Arya Samaji, you cannot adopt Vedas in life. As, as I, I know many Arya Samajis, but I don't know any Arya Samaji who has adopted Vedas in life in, in today's situation because of lack of Acharya in their life. Maharshi Dhanan Saraswati, if he is alive, for sure every Arya Samaji will be following Vedas in life. But today, Arya Samaji, the problem is they speak Vedas. They say, they argue about Vedas with uh, Muslims or Christians or other religions, but they do not follow Vedas in life. The reason is they do not have an Acharya. Satyartha Prakash cannot become an Acharya. Rigveda Adi Bhashya Bhumika or Ejurveda Bhashya by Maharishi Dhan Saraswati or Sanskara Vidhi or other books, great books written by Maharishi cannot become an Acharya. We need an Acharya who has realized this Samadhi who is alive and who is able to teach us Vedas by speaking the knowledge of Almighty God. Then only we can adopt Vedas in life. So in today's modern society, modern lifestyle, can we adopt Vedas? Yes, we can adopt Vedas. What we have to do, very simple. God says, get up early in the morning, 4 o'clock, 4.30. Do name job every day. Remember my name. My name is Om. Remember my name in the morning with the meaning. Remember Gayatri Mantra, chant Gayatri Mantra, do Agni Hotra, which is beneficial for you, which is beneficial for the entire society, entire country, entire world. Do everyday Agni Hotra, which will take 15 20 minutes. Name Jap at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending upon your schedule. And then Asan Pranayama, another half an hour. So, in one and a half hours in the morning, or maximum one hour 45 minutes, your spiritual process is over. Similarly, in the evening, when you come back from work, evening you will be mostly tired, but evening also, Agni Hotra, 20 minutes, name job at least maximum, let's say 15 to 30 minutes, and then Asan Pranayama, another 30 minutes. So, one hour, 15 minutes to one hour, 30 minutes is enough in the evening. So, in a day, you have 24 hours. You can, if you, if you keep aside three hours for Almighty God, then you are in the Vedic journey already. And every day, try to listen to Acharya. Like, for example, I, I always speak about my Acharya because I know only my Acharya as a Vedic Acharya, as a Samadhist Yogi. But you may, you may find some other Acharya who is a Samadhist Yogi who teaches you Vedas. But listen to that kind of Acharya every day. That means like, you know, whenever you go, like what I do or some of the disciples of my Acharya do is, whenever they go to Acharya, they record the provisions of Acharya. They always remember or try to revise those provisions every day. 
like okay 10 minutes i i make a point every day minimum at least 15 to 20 minutes i listen to my acharya pravachans any pravachan old pravachan understand the concept of vedas revise gayatri mantra revise some very important mantras daily in this 15 20 minutes will give you a fuel for the full day and then what will happen is when you start this kind of practice every day slowly what will happen is number one you will lose the jealousy or the competitive like i have to become number one i have why he is growing why i am not growing uh, all these kind of problem you will overcome you will not have jealousy in your mind you will not have uh, you know uh, kind of you know i have to do my i have to impress somebody these kind of things you will come out in the office work also you will not uh, spend time in you know pleasing others you will do your work you know that almighty you are you are believing in the true almighty god who creates this universe you know that your acharya is with you always because you do name jap and acharya has given you the secret of name, almighty god's name from vedas you know that your acharya is behind you all your work will go aram se without any problem so in today's modern world also working in a corporate environment working in a business or doing business every day morning to evening you can still be able to follow vedas without any problem the only thing is what is your need in life for example you know many people i have seen they get an acharya they come to acharyas even my acharya they take uh, diksha from acharya but later on you know they just get diverted they, they are not interested in you know they say that uh, sorry i cannot do every day 20 minutes or 30 minutes name job i cannot do asan pranayama i think uh, it's not my way okay then it's you know there are many people who have left the vedic way even after getting an acharya those are the people who are greatest you know i would say miss uh, unfortunate people in this world but um, like you know many of you in youtube you are eager to know where is an acharya where is a yogi where can i learn vedas but i will tell you what will happen is the moment you find an acharya the moment you find a great yogi a, a real yogi who can give you the vedic knowledge after taking knowledge from him you will also probably get diverted because the aim of human life is not understandable. It's, you are not able to understand the aim of human life. Even for me also, I have known my Acharya for last 18 years. But when I really realized that who is my Acharya, it was already 10 years later on. But 10 years somebody can, uh, after 10, like you know, I met my Acharya in 2004. Initial 3-4 years, I don't know Hindi. So I don't know what my Acharya speaks. I, I, yes, I, for me, he is my Acharya. But I don't know what he is speaking because I don't know Hindi. And uh, he has written English book. I try to read his English books. But I could not relate to, because unless and otherwise you listen to the knowledge of Vedas, books can never give you a so total inspiration. Then, you know, later on, after I learned Hindi, I wanted to learn Hindi to communicate with my Acharya. After I learned Hindi, then when I started listening to my Acharya, I was really amazed at it, what Vedas... Vedas are the ultimate knowledge because so much of knowledge is there in Vedas and also when you understand about the lifestyle of your Acharya, how he attained Samadhi, what kind of spiritual practice Tapasya he did. Like my Acharya used to get up at 2 o'clock, uh, yeah, 2 o'clock or 2.30, 3 o'clock every day, 2.30 to 2.45 every day. For the last several years, even now also my Acharya does not sleep much. He wake, he keep, he keeps, even after attaining Samadhi, my Acharya does, you know, meditation. My Acharya says always that every yogi is always in Samadhi. He wants to be spend more time in meditation to enjoy the bliss of Samadhi. So he, even today also, my Acharya is a great inspiration for me. My Acharya can do three hours, four hours some tapasya even today. I cannot do even 30 minutes. I cannot sit even 30 to 45 minutes. But still, you know, my Acharya always says, do not leave it. Every day, try to do every day. One time will come that you will extend from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, 45 minutes to one hour, later on one hour to one and a half hours. God will help you if you have the right attitude. So I believe my Acharya and I always try to, uh, you know, uh, follow this path. Yes, I do mistakes. I do many many deeds which are not uh, as per Vedas for sure. Every human being will do because, you know, the senses, the perception, the mind is extremely powerful. Controlling the mind is not easy thing. But every time, you know, when you do something wrong, at least you will have an understanding that what you did is wrong. Next time, how do you correct it? Next time, again, when you do wrong, again, you understand that, see, I did this mistake because of my sensual attraction, because of my perception, because of my mind, because of my intellect. Even after listening Vedas, I do mistake. So this kind of everyday analysis should go on within you. 
then slowly slowly you fine tune and you gradually go towards perfection you need not attain samadhi in this life my acharya always says samadhi is not your you know you cannot attain samadhi because you don't have vairagya samadhi leave it for the next janmas but you focus on your tapasya every day you focus on your tapasya only one thing is your tapasya yajna acharya seva that's it whenever you go to acharya do seva to him do service in the ashram uh, whatever service is available seva is available in the ashram do it listen vedas carefully take notes listen to the pravachans listen to the recordings my acharya has sung thousands of bhajans it's available on youtube my acharya always says each and every bhajan has got so much of secret and it is true so whenever i listen to the bhajans i understand oh what a secret is there so again and again repeat the same thing so definitely uh, if you have the right attitude that you has you must overcome the birth and death cycle and every rishi muni in their life have done uh, you know gone through all these things and then only they attained samadhi Nab- like ex- example sri krishna did not attain samadhi just like that everybody has toiled and suffered and gone through the pains and they have taken extra effort to worship almighty god they never left almighty god my acharya used to travel my acharya used to work in military engineering services my acharya always say that even when i am traveling i used to take a break somewhere to do for sure asan pranayama tapasya every day even in travel i do not i do not leave my tapasya i have never left my tapasya all all over my life not even for a single time and my acharya says that you know the intention is not to leave tapasya so i have never fallen sick i have never got fever i have never got cold i have never got any sickness in my life because every day i want to do tapasya and i always try to follow 100% vedic practices from my childhood my acharya used to say so similarly this acharya's lifestyle is inspiration to us we must not get into trap of the modern gurus who say that you know uh, i am a i am a yogi like you know yesterday i was seeing a video i don't want to name the person that uh, lady uh, is asking to that uh, person that how is it like uh, you i mean you are a guru how do you when you get up in the morning how do you feel as a guru he says no i am uh, not feeling good as a guru but i i sleep as a yogi i wake up as a yogi i am a yogi he says like i am a yogi i was feeling like you know how dare he can say such words a yogi is a person who cannot do any activity against vedas who always preaches vedas and this guy openly has told in many of the interviews i have never studied vedas i have never studied geeta i never studied anything and i never uh, want to follow any vedas or something like that he has told many times but still he says shamelessly that he is a yogi see we must not get into trap of such kind of modern gurus or gurus who are uh, you know always living in the falsehood we must always try to follow and find out an acharya who is a real yogi many people ask me how do i find a yogi how do i find a real acharya my acharya answers this question that just like you find a job to live in you want to find a job you find a job day and night you go to interviews you do so much application you want to uh, you know you don't want to miss any opportunity for a job you go uh, search like relentlessly similarly you have to search an acharya you cannot get recommendation that you know somebody ask me which acharya i should go i will not recommend that come to my acharya because my acharya i have gone through and then realized yes my acharya is the true acharya but why i should recommend my acharya to you because you have to really understand and then go through the process to see okay what the sanatan dharma says who is an acharya and then find out a true acharya so i will never recommend that come to my acharya yes for me there are only one or two yogis in this whole universe one of the yogi is my acharya and second yogi i do not know maybe there are some some yogis in the jungle who are in samadhi bliss who are like ved vidwans but they never come into public even my acharya was in the jungle for so many years but fortunately to people like me very fortunate that he came to he came outside of jungle and then uh, and i am so fortunate that i found out my acharya so spiritual process starts with acharya once you have an acharya even if you are uh, elon musk even if you are a bill gates even if you are the ceo of a company you are having 24 by 7 you know so many issues you can find time to worship almighty god and when you find time to worship almighty god you will have so much of free time this is for sure this is my experience otherwise you know i will tell you one thing i am working in a company at a very high position uh, 
I mean, I'm not telling that for the sake of advertising me, but the, I am in a very high position, very high responsibilities, very high work pressure is there for me. But still, I find every day spare time for worship of Almighty God, for Swadhyaya, for necessary Vedic spiritual activities. So if I can do, why can't you? This is my message to you. Thank you so much. Namaste. Om.